Hey guys, welcome to Bobby's post-match review. Thanks, Flargy. And it's not by Dick Smith. It is by Dick Smith. Now, Cameron, your form has been fantastic, but even better, the team's form has been on fire. Um, what do you put it down to? Um, I'm not so sure, Bob. I think everyone's playing their part uh, pretty well at the moment. So, um, yeah, I don't think you can put your finger on any one individual or any you know, particular moment in the, across the five games, but it's just nice that when everyone gets an opportunity, when someone gets an opportunity, they can, um, you know, produce the goods and stand up um, like the bowlers did tonight. Yeah, it was good. Everyone's contributing. It's fantastic. Now, um, a big challenge now, I guess, is the one-day players. Um, they leave, and, and Jimmy Faulkner and Glenn Maxwell in particular. Um, how are you going to fill their void? Well, obviously, good self, Rob. You, I've, um, you've been championing the bit for a couple of weeks now about coming into the into the side, so it'd be great to have you back in. Um, I think we've missed you. I've missed you. Yeah, no, we always miss you. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's a great opportunity for yourself, Rob, um, and a couple of the other guys, Scotty Bowen on the sidelines there as well. So I think hopefully, um, you know, you guys have got three or four games now to come in and, and feel comfortable in the, in the team and, um, and get some good performances under your belt ready for the semi-final. I think you said it well on, on the ground that um, it's going to be a, a good test of our depth, um, but also good timing with uh, us being, I guess, you know, clear with points um, and a bit of freedom there as well so um, just on a, on a lighter side mate um, you, you're playing against or you know we're playing against the duck one of our one of our good mates Great um, we, we know that he gets very very nervous but w were you nervous at all um, actually tonight I got a little point it was funny it's a small run chase uh, you, for some reason I got a little bit nervous but within the space of about two overs Lukey, Lukey Wright had sort of fixed those, fixed those up pretty well but now it's great to see the duck back on the park after um, you know, one of our Victorian teammates, Robbie, close mate of himself and you. So, um, yeah, it's great to see him back out there after a shoulder injury. Um, but yeah, I think he was uh, he had a pretty big day today, Ducky, which um, didn't turn out to much for him in the end. He promised he's going to bowl the first over to you, and, that, and I was I was a bit disappointed when uh, when Tadi had the new ball. But um, that's all good now. Lately, particularly when you've been going well, you've been hitting sixes, fours. You made I think two um, fifties. There've been no fist pumps. Where's the fist pump gone? Oh, well, the last time I showed a bit of emotion on the field, you and Huss sort of got stuck into me, so I thought I'd just Why keep... do you think we, we take the piss when you finally show emotion? Oh, it's because, yeah, I'm in the change of trying to enjoy myself after the game, <laughs> and you're taking the piss out of me, so I just thought I'd keep things under wrap, and maybe if we get to the semi and you know, we have a bit of a win, we can just give it a bit of, you know, we can right. give it a bit of that sort of stuff. Well, I can't wait for the fist pump to come back. <laughs> That'll be awesome. Guys, thank you very much. That was Bobby's post-match review, brought to you by Dick Smith and The Flage. Maxwell off the outside edge. He's got enough bat on it. Only he could do that. Moves around his crease in a dark and he just blasts it through cover. Maxwell goes straight up in the air. The keeper's coming. He won't get it. There's a lot of bat on it. It's over the right. Oh, He's got his hands in the air. How's that gone for six? That is a six. That is the game. And the Melbourne Stars have absolutely destroyed the Adelaide Strikers. Maxwell, surprisingly not, finishes it with a six.